you have this brain and it operates under concrete principles. This part's your reflexes. This part is for pawns, for belly crawling. And that affects your eyes to go side to side. It controls your mm. tongue. It controls your mouth. It controls personal motivation to get up and get dressed in a nice way and draw a Valentine's card for your mother when you're six. It controls the ability to filter sound so you're not distracted. It controls your ability to poo and pee and sleep and be aroused and not fall asleep when you're supposed mm. to be studying. It controls your hips and your shoulders. It controls your ability to look forward to a future event and plan for it now. Mm. There's no part of the brain called the pons. And you get organized by belly crawl. When kids belly crawl on their belly, you know, kids are born, they've been floating around in the uterus, and mother knows that they're moving, and then, wow, I got a really movable kid. As soon as you're born, we put them on their back. Mm -hmm. We hold them. But we don't let them move around so much. When we put them on their tummy, and they run, and they work, and they, mm -hmm. and they finally can crawl across the floor, this grows brain. This goes mm. brain tissue. So then they can talk better, swallow better, chew better, potty train faster, track with their eyes, which is all about reading, right? Instead mm. of one, 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 one kid. So what we find with kids who can't track, who mumble their words, who aren't poorly trained at seven years old and still urinating in their bed at night, mm. and who aren't self-motivated, parents are like, I don't know why this kid doesn't want to ride a bike. I want him a bike. It's awesome. It's got all he can. Why would he ride his bike? Like his brother, come on, it's awesome. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. We find when we go, we find we like, did he call as a baby? No. Mm -hmm. He rolled around. He rolled around like this. Oh, okay. Well, he never called. He kind of walked really early. Oh, he missed a step on his hard drive. Mm -hmm. well, therefore, when he goes into church, he does this. Yeah. And so when we go back and say, okay, for 100 days, we're going to have you crawl on your belly for 100 yards. Brain changes. Mm -hmm. Oh. You mean this is a predictable pattern? You mean the brain grows in these levels of hierarchical complexity? Yes. Then you keep on your hands and knees. This is the part of the brain that you creep like a baby, a seven-month-old, they look so cute, and they're did, 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 did all around the house. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out that's for convergence and death perception. Uh -huh. That's for being able to hear all those sounds so you can make prefixes and suffixes. Mm -hmm. That's for the ability to be coordinated like Michael Jordan. And that's for being able to understand abstract representations of time and space, like, oh, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and next week, I'll be 10 minutes, hey, wait for me, play a game, and know the strategy. It turns out a lot of kids don't creep on their hands and knees. Mm -hmm. They got one leg up in the air, or they start walking in Johnny Walkers, or they're in oh, yes. yep. And Pretty so cool their thoughts. first year of life, or they scoot on the rear end, their first mm -hmm. year of their life, it's kind of spent in this quasi-mobility environment that somehow either they've been adopted or somehow we think, we just got to get mm -hmm. this walking. If he walks, he's be truly the human. <laughs> uh, but we missed out on really intricate parts of the brain that run the hard yeah. drive. Like my iPhone 11, I like it. It does a lot of things to me. I don't want to go back to a flip phone. It turns out that my iPhone 11 is only good as the hard drive of my phone. And so when we look at children, we evaluate the hard drive. Mm -hmm. If this is happy, the information can go up and can go into the cortex where the child can make a reasonable decision. If he's making unreasonable decisions, we don't think he's naughty by definition. Mm -hmm. go, hmm. right. Why does he keep pushing his brother? Why does he bite things? Oh, there's a reflex called the Babkin reflex. And when he gets frustrated, he bites things and chooses to cure. Mm. Or, chew, or fiddles around. Or asks, chewing things all the time. He's figuring, why does he have his fist in his mouth? Is he got a behavior problem? No, he has a reflex issue down here in the brain. And if we tag that, we'll teach parents for 20 minutes a day. Boom. Mm. Restore it. Let's go. Oh my God, that's so easy. Oh my God. <laughs>